Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to explain you how we can read the response from Power Automate to inside our Canvas app. So let's see an example. So this is my Power Automate flow. Okay, and this is my trigger point like which we normally used when we call the Power Automate flow from the Canvas app. So we go with that Power app V2 option is there. Okay, and uh, at last we are using a respond to a Power app okay action and between this you can perform your action according to your requirement but just to explain you i am just directly using this action okay so in this respond to a power f action i just created a pair to parameter name and surname as a type of a text and i can select a yes no file email number date all this we can select okay and now uh, you can see like i just created a two uh, parameter which I am uh, sending to a canvas application okay okay so now go back to the power app so I have already added let me oh refresh oh I deleted let me add this again okay so now I have successfully added this flow now go and call this flow okay so spawn our app dot run. So this is like a this is the way to call a any power automate cloud flow okay and let's suppose if i want to read uh, some uh, uh, response which is uh, sending from the power automate then how we can do so we need to save that uh, let me remove this first so after this if we type a dot then we can see like a two parameters is there but we can select name we can select only a one parameter at a time so uh, we need to uh, store that uh, parameter response in some variable so i am creating a global variable let me call this a uh, where one okay and let me close this so now you can see like uh, we click on this button and if i go back to variable one then we can see the uh, respond from the power automate which we set in a name variable if i go and show so in the name we set as sumit and in the surname we set a gotham okay so let's suppose if i want to read the surname then we need to remove this okay and then if i play again okay then you able to see that uh, surname value is also getting saved inside this variable okay but how we can uh, read the both variable okay so like you can see like where we can either uh, select the name or surname so what we need to do we need to remove this okay and then if we play again okay and then show to you so now this variable is saved like both the variable is getting saved as a record okay and now let's suppose i don't want to store uh, that uh, output parameter value inside this in the form of record then what is the second option okay then we have second option available is a we can create a collection okay so through collect function we can create a collection so if i run this okay so then now you can able to see like uh, we have a data in the form of a table not a record okay so that's how we can read the one or n number of parameter uh, from power automate to a power app okay thanks for watching please subscribe my channel see you later